Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new around here, I'm Jimmy. I'm Natalie. And for the last three months, we've been busy building out our schoolie. So this week, we're gonna focus on framing out our kitchen cabinets, which we are super excited to have. I think it's gonna completely transform the space in there. We'll just show you what, what we're thinking about doing. <laughs> welcome to our kitchen. We're planning on having a lot of counter space since it'll span all three of these windows. So we'll start over here. This will be the wall to the shower. And so we're gonna put the kitchen sink right here and some cabinets underneath. And then if you move over here, we're gonna have a two burner gas cooktop and our refrigerator will be hidden inside the cabinets. It'll go about right here. We are going to have a microwave and hopefully some cabinets. We're going to try to squeeze any cabinets where we can find space for them. And we initially wanted to build a televator into this cabinet, but as we're getting further and further into the build process and we kind of want to speed things up so we can get moving, we decided to simplify that plan just a little bit. And instead of a televator that comes up, we're going to have a flip up counter, the television underneath it. And so this whole counter should flip up and we'll secure it up here and then you can have a TV directly across from our couch. Whenever you don't want to watch TV, you can flip it down and this will be all counter space. All right, the plan's been set. Let's get started. So we're out here all day cleaning up the workshop and it has not looked this good in a long time. So I think we're all ready to go. We're really excited and want to see how quickly we can get these cabinet frames knocked out. Gosh, have we mentioned how hot it is out here yet? It is boiling. So I've been measuring out the toe kick cuts and I've been passing the boards to Jimmy to cut and I think it's working pretty well. I feel like we're a well-oiled machine and we're working a lot faster than if we were uh, not delegating like this. <laughs> Okay, after several hours, we're done cutting all the panels that we're gonna need for framing out our cabinets. Um, Natalie and I kind of got into a, a nice little rhythm. I was cutting the panels out while she was working on the pocket holes. Um, so we've got a huge pile of boards behind me. Everything should be measured. We like triple check every single measurement. So I really, really hope and think everything should be fine. We're gonna start putting stuff together and hopefully we don't run into any issues. This is gonna be our sink. When we did research and kind of heard about other people's experiences with living in a bus or a van, we've never heard anyone who regretted getting a really large sink. So we did that right out of the gate. We're getting like, our sink's 23 inches wide for the opening. And so it's gonna fill up pretty much this whole thing, which I think will be great for doing dishes and um, I don't, I don't think we'll regret it. It fits, it's just gonna look really big in this space. I'm excited to see this thing inside the bus because it's gonna start to look really real. We're putting in the first cabinet frame for our sink. <laughs> this is it. I'm so excited, this is crazy. Natalie made the comment, we didn't have this wood yesterday. I mean, we already bought it and it was already fitted and we already got it in. And uh, we're like this close to having the rest of it done as well. Okay, so we just finished the first cabinet compartment and we're bringing in the supplies now to screw together the second larger cabinet that will hold the TV and the fridge. We're planning on putting a butcher block countertop on top of this. We've never built cabinets before, so this is like such a new experience to us and it's really fun. Yeah, I think Jimmy learned a lot while building the dinette and I think that's helped us to really expedite a lot of 
this whole process. We decided to try our luck at building in the toe kicks and I'm really glad that we have so far because I think it's gonna make it more comfortable to stand in front of. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I think this is gonna be the last time that we sweep this whole little area because we're about to put the cabinets in and we won't be able to soon. I am super impressed with how these cabinets are turning out. They're looking really nice and it's already making the space look so different to have such a large piece of furniture in here. As we were working, we did decide that we kind of want to change the way that we're going to do the floor inside some of the cabinets. So under the kitchen sink, we want to leave the toe kick area completely open and accessible for more storage. But for the other two sections, so where we have a refrigerator and where we're going to put some shelving and a microwave, we want to close that off because we're probably going to do pull out drawers. We're going to change the way that we're filling that in so that we're going to go ahead and put in the floor for those cabinets right now. We just got something in the mail. Is it heavy? It's not heavy. I just don't want to break it because I think this might be our stove. Alright, I got a jigsaw blade because it's pouring down rain and our scissors are in the bus. Gas tight. It must be the stove then. It must be the stove. Oh, is it another box? Another box. Please dial the hole as the sample board. Oh, okay. So we should not mess that up then. All right. Well, cool. Ooh, little screwdriver. Oh, perfect. That's so cute. Oh, that's really Very good. Very pretty. Nice, right, really compact too. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> Madeleine, I really don't want to flip this over. I think we need to flip it over to put the uh, bottom shelves in so that the, so we can hide the pocket screws, but, um, yeah, we already connected it to here, and it's only connected from that one seam right there. I'm a little nervous about it, also because we're in this tight, cramped space. Are we going to have enough room to even flip it? I don't know, honestly. we got to try at least, because it would be great to not have the pocket holes showing. Yeah. We're making good progress. We really are. It looks so different. Yeah, it's so nice to have another large project placed in the bus. I love when it, you know, we take big steps, like in just a few days. It's a really good feeling. Yeah. All right, well, we're gonna go grab some dinner and wind down and we'll catch you tomorrow. See ya. We found this really cool spider <laughs> that's building a web very neatly. And we're trying to figure out if we can ask him to help us build our bus because he's doing a really good job. It's a piece of art over here. I'm just so impressed. <laughs> It's very cool. This looks, this looks really nice. It really does. To be honest, I kind of forgot that all of this was in here, so it was a little shocking walking in. I think it's going to fit in a lot better once we put it against the wall, because right now it takes up the entire bus. First coat looks good, so we just gotta let that dry. And I think we need to wait at least eight hours before the second coat, but we'll definitely need a second coat. We are about to put on our third and final coat onto the cabinet frame that we've built. Natalie's gonna get started on that, and while she does that, I'm gonna finish cutting out the wood that we need to finish framing out the right side of the cabinet. We left a little diagonal cut there, since we kind of need the kitchen to slope inwards to leave room for the swivel chair. So I'm gonna take some measurements and start cutting out that wood. And hopefully we can get that installed um, either today or tomorrow. So I need to cut some board for the uh, that diagonal part of the kitchen countertop. And I think I might just reuse this panel that we cut out earlier. This was originally gonna be one of the kitchen cabinet supports. We had cut out an extra panel and we never used it. And luckily, it, we cut the toe kick into it. So everything's measured perfectly. It's the exact height and everything. So I might just go ahead and rip this board um, height-wise 
and then uh, cut out the slivers I need to make that smaller diagonal shelving area to the right of the kitchen cabinet. It should save some wood and we've already got it cut out. Panels are looking pretty good. I dry fitted one of them and it fits pretty well. We don't want to really waste the space to the right of the kitchen area. We decided to go ahead and make these open top shelves. Um, so that's what I'm working on now. They do have this weird sharp angle to it, but it'll let us use the empty space. Here you go, Natalie. Thank you. <laughs> Feels dry. I think they're ready to put together. We'll just have to do some pocket holes and then we should be able to put them in. I can't believe this, it's incredible. It's massive. I've stood here and I've imagined it all before as like a ghost kitchen. And now it's like, it's right here. Look at these shelves. How cool is that? We had no idea what we're doing when we started and we just threw it together. I'm so glad that we decided to build our own cabinets. We kind of had a moment of weakness. We went all the way to Ikea, which is not a short drive. And we really thought about getting just cookie cutter cabinets, sticking them in there, whether or not it worked with the space. And I'm so glad that we took just the couple of days to build this out. So we measured out exactly how tall we needed this shelf to be to fit our pans. So this is super customized and tailored to what we own, what we're gonna bring with us in the bus. And I can just picture it. You wanna make like scrambled eggs? There's your pan, there's your stove. It's just all so compact. Like I really am excited about the idea of having a tiny kitchen and a tiny home and it's so cool seeing it come together and I am really proud of us for pulling this off so far. We have a long way to go before it's finished cabinets. We gotta install AC outlets. We have to figure out, we gotta put a TV right here. That's gonna be a whole thing, but I'm super stoked with the progress we made this week. This is super cool. And with that, I think we're gonna call it for this week. Um, we set ourselves up pretty good for next week. We got a lot of stuff we can add on to the kitchen cabinet. Thank you guys so much for following along. We hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.